In this video, we will discuss how we can calculate the height of a binary tree. Let's first understand what do we mean by height of a tree. So height of any node is the longest path from the node to the leaf. And height of tree is the height of its root. So in this example, A is the root node. So the leaf nodes are K, E, B and C. So the distance of A from K is 3. So there are three edges AD, DH and HK. And from the other leaf node, so distance of A from E is 4. So this is one edge, second, third and fourth. Distance of A from B is 2 because one edge and two edges. And distance of A from C is also 2. So these four are leaf nodes K, E, B, C. And the distance of A is maximum from E. So height of A is 4. So we just have to calculate the distance of that node from all the leaf nodes and then have to find the maximum. So that will be the height of that node. And height of the tree is equal to the height of its root. So this example height of the tree is 4. Now there are some properties that height of the empty tree is minus 1 and height of any leaf node is 0. Because the reference point is the leaf node. So the height of any leaf node is 0. Now in some books you may find another definition for height where it is considered that height is the maximum number of nodes from the leaf node. For A the maximum number of nodes will be 5 because A D L P E. So in those books height of the empty tree is considered as 0. So there are two definitions of height but as per me the correct definition of height is the maximum number of edges that a node is far from the leaf nodes. So in this example, node A is 4 edges apart from the leaf node. So the height of this tree is 4. So we'll consider this definition of the height of the tree and then we'll try to see how we can calculate the height of each node. So in this example, height of K is 0 because it is a leaf node. So mark height of all the leaf nodes as 0. Height of H is 1 because it is 1 edge apart from the leaf node. Height of D is 3 because it is 3 edges apart from E. Height of L is 2. Height of P is 1 because it is 1 edge apart from E. And height of Z is 1. Now in this way, we can just check what is the maximum number of edges that a node is apart from any leaf node. That will be the height of that node. Now based on this definition, we'll see the pseudocode for calculating the height of the tree. So height of the binary tree can be calculated both recursively and iteratively. Here we'll focus on the recursive approach. So the pseudocode is quite simple. So we have this function height which takes a node parameter. So initially we'll pass it the root of the tree which is A. We just check if node is null. So that means it is a null tree. We return minus one. So this is the base condition. And then we calculate left height and right height. So this LH is left height. And this RH is right height. And then we return maximum of LH and RH plus 1. So why are we doing this? So let's try to understand. So let's take this example and our tree has only three nodes. And we have to calculate the height of this tree. So height of this tree will be height of the left subtree. This is LH. Height of the right subtree. This is RH. And we are doing plus 1. So we are finding out which one is greater between LH and RH. So this max function will give us the greater one and we're incrementing the plus one. So plus one is because we have to add the height for the root node of this subtree. So the height of this entire tree will be maximum of LH comma RH plus one. Plus one is for the root node. So for each subtree, we'll use this formula and we'll calculate the height of the tree. And then we'll use that to calculate the height of the upper tree. So we'll keep doing that and in the end we'll obtain the height of the root node which will be the height of the tree. So the first call to this function will be for the node A. We come here. So now to calculate the left height we call this height function again with the node of left which is D. So here LH is height of D. So node is now D. We check if D is null and then to calculate the left height of D we call this function height with the left of D. So left of D is H. So at this point we call this function LH and it will be height of H. So now node is at H. We check if H is equal to null. 
and then we calculate the left height and we call this height function with the parameter left of h which is k so at h left of h is equal to height of k and now node becomes k for k we again calculate this left height and we call this height function with the left of k which is null so at k we calculate left height which is height of null now node is null when node is null we return minus 1 because this is the base condition so at this point this height of null will be replaced by minus 1 so left height of k is minus 1 and now we have to calculate the right height for k to calculate the right height we call this height function with the right of k which is also null and for null we again return the minus 1 so for k rh is also equal to minus 1 now once we have both lh and rh height is equal to maximum of lh and rh plus 1 so here lh and rh both are minus 1 so height of k is 0 so at h we have already calculated the height of k so we can replace this height of k with 0 and now we have to calculate the right height for h to calculate the right height for h will call for the right of h which is null when node is null we return minus 1 so right height for h is minus 1 now the height for h will be maximum of left height which is 0 and right height which is minus 1 so it will be 1 so the height of node h is 1 now once i've calculated the height of node h then at d so we can assign this left height variable for d as 1 now at d we have to calculate the right height so to calculate the right height for d we have to pass the right for d which is l so right height at d is equal to height of l now the node is l and we calculate the left height for l so left of l is null so the left height at l is minus 1 and now we calculate the right height for l so the right of l is p so right height at l is equal to height of p so now we have to calculate the height of p so the node becomes p so left of p is null so left height will be minus 1 and to calculate the right height we'll pass the right of p which is e so right height is height of e and then we come at e left height is minus 1 because left is null and right height is also minus 1 when both are minus 1 height will be equal to 0 so height of node e is 0 so at vertex p we can set the right height which was height of e to 0 and the height of p becomes so left height is minus 1 and right height is 0 so height of p becomes 1 then we come at node L and here we set the right height which was height of P to 1. So at L the left height is minus 1 and right height is 1. So the height becomes 2. So at vertex L the height is 2. Then we come at vertex D the right height which was height of L it becomes 2. So height of D is left height is 1 and right height is 2. So max is 2. So height of D becomes 3. So at a the left height which was height of d this becomes 3 and now we have to calculate the right height so right height is right of a which is z so the node is z and to calculate the left height of z we pass the node b to the height function so left height is height of b so the node is now b at b the left height is minus 1 the right height is also minus 1 because left and right are null so the height becomes 0 so the left height at z becomes 0 and now we have to calculate the right height at z which is equal to height of c so for c left height is also minus 1 and right height is also minus 1 so the height of c is 0 so at z the right height is 0 so at z when left height is 0 and right height is also 0 so the height of z becomes 1 so now we have calculated the height of z to be 1 so right height at a becomes equal to 1 and now we have both the left height and right height at a 
So by using this formula for a the left height is 3 and the right height is 1. So the height of a is 4 and this is the height of the tree that we have obtained. So by calculating the left height and right height for all the subtrees of the tree we can find the height of the root which will be equal to height of the binary tree. If we look at the time complexity of this method the time complexity is order of n because we are visiting each node of the tree only once. Now once we've understood this let's have a look at the implementation. So all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function I've created this tree. The root node is A, the left of A is D and in this manner I've created all the nodes of the tree. Then I call this function height recursive in which I pass the root node. In this function I check if node is null then I return the minus one. This is for the empty tree. And then I calculate the left height and the right height by calling this function recursively and passing the left and the right subtrees. And the height will be the maximum of left height and right height plus one. Now let's see the output of this program. So the height of the tree is four because the root node is maximum four edges apart from any leaf node. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.